What's up guys, I'm Vern. I'm Henner. Welcome to another edition of Pokey Boy Production Channel. So I brought Henner along again because we have another thing to unbox for you today. Oh yeah, uh, always this excited. Is, <laughs> this one's not too big. Average size for a box. Mm -hmm. Henner has an inkling of an idea of what it is, so stay tuned to find out what it is. All right, Hannah, you ready? Of course, I'm ready. I'm always ready when it comes to unboxing. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm just gonna knock the tape off. Vernon is unboxing. <laughs> Once again, these are not sponsored. For those who are wondering, we buy it with our own money because we are interested in the product, or it's something that I think might be beneficial for me or the group for Hannah and Romeo. Something that might might be fun to use or fun to play with. I like toys and gadgets, that's Henry knows. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. Can you come help me? Yeah, yeah. What is this? Okay, that's... That's it? And I'm not sure what this is. Right. We're gonna find out. So this is called the... Uh, Seat Zack. Yep, this is a Kickstarter product. Got it a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, I think they started mailing it out to all the people that supported them, so... I figured we'd try now and see how this thing works. So, Henry, what else is anything inside? Any the product. Is. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> it's a seat sack, meaning it's a seat. So, that's my guess. Yeah. So, then, probably it's another portable chair kind of thing. And um, I think this is the actual product. <laughs> so, here's uh, I don't know what this is. It's some kind of tube. Uh, looks like oh, it does have the charger right here. Okay, it's a, a micro, micro USB, USB charger. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Anna. It's oh, just oh, like these the are like wrist straps, probably. Yeah. yeah, you just wrap it around. What is that? Oh, I think that's the light. Light? Yeah. What do you mean light? Oh, there, and there's is that instruction manual? It's, it's something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see what this is. Technical. Yes, it's a uh, instructions for the light, not for the seat. Oh, <laughs> something is missing here. <laughs> I don't know where is the instructions. There is no instructions for this. Thing. Uh, anyone else who's bought seat Zack off Kickstarter, let me know if you guys got instructions. Because I don't think there's anything else in the box. This thing reminds me of those, um, what do you call that? Those beach chairs where people run around just to put air into that little beach. <laughs> you know, I, I actually have one of those. You do? I just never bothered to use it because I didn't feel like running around with it. And it's, <laughs> it's a workout just trying to put that up. People say that it's hard to put air in that thing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. I'll look for it and see if I have it somewhere in my closet full of junk for gear so it's a pretty big chair but uh yeah there is no instruction manual shame 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 that's the first thing that you guys should have yeah definitely i don't know i don't know if this is a compressor or we're gonna have to wing this one <laughs> maybe look at some youtube tutorials or something but uh here's the little trailer for you guys to see what we're talking about So what did you do, Henry? I pressed the orange button here. That's the you know the built-in air compressor. To oh, so it is built-in. Yeah, there's a built-in air compressor in this thing. So, but I gotta figure out how to deflate it. I'm gonna see if I can read a uh, YouTube, some kind of YouTube tutorial somewhere, and put the slide away. Oh, there is a USB. I don't know what the. I guess this is a. 
this chair can also, from what I understand from the trailer, you could charge your controller while it's sitting down on this thing. So if you have a, a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox S uh -huh. or whatever, you put your controller here and you charge your controller. So My guess would be like, because there's a, there know, is a yeah, type C. A here. type C but a type C plug and a USB. I, I think the USB is to charge this um ah, the compressor. compressor. Okay. Right. Ah, okay. So Henry, do you want to try playing with this and see how it works? Sure. sure. Alright, give us a second or two because <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Okay. So he compressed it, you know, he, I don't know, I shouldn't have How many times? Three times? I think so. But I'm just going to go like that. Oops. Let me break this down. And then this is probably like the exhaust from like, so that the, the thing could, if you don't open this up, the, there won't be an exhaust for air to come into the thing. And I press it. There it goes. That's pretty cool. Oh. For the air, yeah, so the air goes in. <laughs> <I'm guessing. laughs> Don't worry, you'll put this in the floor and I'll have kind of air sitting on What do you gotta say? At least the air compressor is good and fast and strong. Are you still there? <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty big. So here's the chair. Looks like something it's familiar. It's a chair. It is a gaming chair. Yeah. Looks like a giant hot dog. <laughs> hot dog bun. And here I am. I'm about to test it, just like always. Vern. I'm the guinea pig of Vern's uh, tester. If something <laughs> goes wrong, good luck to you. Good <laughs> luck to you. Honey. I'm kidding. But yes. Okay, let's see if this can hold me up. Oh, shit. Anything wrong? Ah, no. Comfy? That's, yeah, it's actually pretty nice. So looks it's like a game. I think you might have to, you know, you have to roll it really well and tighten it on the back to make sure that it doesn't pop up while the air while you sit on it. Oh, okay. okay. But I think you could always get up and fill the air or some more yeah. through here with the buttons. Yeah. But otherwise it's comfy, right, Henry? Yeah, I mean, it's good for a gaming chair. I mean, you know. <laughs> you know, that kind of... For your gaming sessions? Yeah. But you know, I don't know if I would want to sleep on this thing because next thing you know, I'll be like, boom. Or in my... I don't know how long the air holds on this thing. I would say it could, I think it would, it would last for a good couple of, you know, a good half day, a day maybe. I think it doesn't sound like it's gonna, um, you know, the air will be coming out from this thing because the material of this thing looks like it's really pretty, pretty air. It's like, um, air tight. it's like parachute material yeah, or something. It's like an airtight kind of a material. The, the only leaks that could possibly happen is what, what through the, the exhaust here and if you didn't um, roll over and tighten that um, belt in the back where hmm. the, it opens up fully and then to where you uh, what you open up so that you'll deflate the whole thing in a jiffy so yeah I'm just wondering where we put the light <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah let's see that's what you get for not um, including instructions there's no instructions on the light thing right no there was not it's just like how to use the air uh, so I'm, I'm thing, guessing you might have to put it through that hole or something. I'm gonna have to do some research and. The one thing I could tell you guys about this is well, once you sit on it, you start playing it. If you have to get up, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it might be a little bit tiny difficult to get up because your my butt is really like sunk into the the cushion part. You know my butt cushion part of it, and I'm like really deep deep into it. So when I try to get up, it's gonna be pretty hard. Yeah. And the, and the thing falls backwards because it's pretty heavy in the back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't and I don't like where they put that. It looks like they're losing it's losing air already. Yeah, because right? I, I sat on it, so probably a little bit of air um, got out. Yeah. And so probably I didn't roll this enough. Probably had to roll this about four times before um, you you know it really compresses the air. But yeah, I mean it's with these kind of products, it's quite obvious or it's quite common that 
you know, it looks like it's full of air, but once you sit on it, it's going to, you know, cause some air to get out so that it compresses and grooves into your body. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I guess it's nice for uh, you know. It's better than the ones where you have to run around trying to put air in it, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> this just has a built-in compressor. And it's so compact, you could probably put it in uh, like a book bag kind of thing. You could bring this to the beach because yeah, its material is you know it's nice and um, airproof, and I don't think the sand will really get into it. So if you want to bring something to sit on and lie down, but I'm not sure if this is waterproof or anything like that. So it's perfect with our uh, go chairs, right, Henry? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready to deflate? Yeah! Alright, how do you deflate it? Uh, either you open up the hole from the exhaust here to start with the air you know, coming out which right here or you can just unlock it from the back and just unwrap, unroll the, the back of it and it will, yes, you know, like the big, big air here. Oh, okay, nice. Nice. And you just flatten it and just roll it back in. It's just a big plastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to kind of make it uh, loose air that way. Yeah, I'll just leave this thing open like this. Just flip it over to get some thing in there and that's it. Ah, simple. Now the trick is trying to get it in here, in the little bag, back in the little bag. Might be a little challenge, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we try to fold it as best as we can. <laughs> yeah, and I do have the... Uh, I'll show you the other bag that I used to have. Oh, you found it! This is the Kaiser bag. This was from 3-4 years ago. I barely used it because I didn't want to run around like a maniac. Oh, this is the one it. that you put in the beach, like the big uh, fad, where you run around the beach and <laughs> yeah. get air so you can have like a beach chair kind of thing? Yeah, so oh, okay. I think I used it once and I kind of cheated and I just put a fan in there and then... <laughs> and yeah, that's <laughs> cheating, Brian, that's cheating. But yeah, I didn't want to go through that hassle. I still have it, so I don't know if I'm ever going to use this. Mm -hmm. You have two now. I have two now, but I'm probably never going to use this, so maybe give it away or something. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Anyway, what do you think? Kind of good? Yeah, it's good for, uh, you know, how much you pay for this? Oh, good good question. I uh, believe... I don't remember. <laughs> I'll leave the price somewhere on the screen. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad for a Kickstarter price. I think it was like maybe 40 plus, right. something like that. The usual Kickstarter usually gives you a nice good deal before it hits retail if they ever, you know. If they if ever they, go to retail. If they ever decide to go retail because, you know, kick, that's what the Kickstarter is all about, you know. It's for the entrepreneurs who, who tries to sell their products and see if they... You know, if they do well and they're selling their Kickstarter products and they're going to go retail and that's when they get big. Yeah. But there are some that, you know, they, they're able to create it but probably they decide that they don't think it's going to make it to retail so they don't go out into retail. So that's where, that's the good thing about Kickstarter. So you're like a guinea pig but, you know, it's it works but sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. But sometimes you also get good products, right? Right. Yeah. We've had a... Yeah, uh, you've probably seen all the things that we run box from Kickstarter, and mm -hmm. most of them were pretty good. So yeah. I had no, I haven't, uh, haven't really had complaints. Like ninety five percent no complaints. Yeah, the only, yep. Well, the only five percent complaints is where the downside of Kickstarter is that some companies out there um, take your money and run. Take your money and run, like <laughs> mine, mine, where. I got like a supposedly a Bluetooth headphones, wireless, and everything. Under uh, waterproof. It's supposed to be waterproof back then. This was like probably what four or five years ago guess what I never got my product <laughs> I, I have an Indie, Indiegogo product it's called I forgot what it was called it was it was a dual screen uh -huh. it's supposed to be match up to your like tablet or something so you have another screen that you could attach ah, make I've it seen longer. those I've seen those but no. I still haven't gotten my product and I've read the comments and people are complaining yeah that's the downside <laughs> it's a big risk to buy products from either Indiegogo or Kickstarter but Hey, like we said, that we've been buying Kickstarter products for how many years now, and we hardly had any bad things about it, but we've been getting good things, and the products that they give us is good, that we're happy about it. So, And, you know, some of them never goes to retail, so if they don't go to retail, you have that product, and people see you, and it's good, and they'd be like, yo, where you get that, yo? <laughs> we'd be like, Kickstarter. <laughs> but, 
Yeah. It'd be, you'll, you'd be the only one with that product. One exactly. of a kind. One of a kind. The yeah. only thing I will lock them for points is they didn't give us any directions. Mm. Usually me and Hannah don't read instructions anyway. <laughs> no, <laughs> But not. if it's a new product and you really don't know what's going on, yeah, that's... That's a negative for me, so Definitely. hopefully they will provide some kind of instruction either through YouTube or some kind of written paper, you know, yeah. something like that. But with this kind of product, you know, it doesn't take a, you know, a PhD to figure out uh, how to operate this. I mean, look at us. We, we were able to operate it without using uh, instructions, but, you know, it'd be better as a, produ uh, as a uh, consumer that, you know, the, you, you get the whole thing. That you get the whole thing that you know instructions be provided, even though it's as easy as like a, probably a kindergarten could probably put this together or you know build this up, but still. Yeah, I still have to figure out where to put that light. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's no place or anything like that, so I don't know. We'll Ver figure it yeah. out. Mm -hmm. So, Henry, last words. Sure. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Ding 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 ding. See you guys. Bye. Bye.